Hey guys, once again, it's PS3 Crucial Source. This video is going to show you how to successfully run a backup game. Well, what I'm going to be demonstrating is Call of Duty Black Ops. So, this video I'm going to show you how to back it up. You want to install Open Manager. Load it up. You can get it from my pack on my previous videos. Alright, just click yes. Make sure it says configuration detected above to install games. As long as it says that right there, click yes. Alright, now um, what you want to do is at the top where it says Call of Duty Black Ops and it's highlighted BDVD. You want to click circle. Once to copy, click yes. Alright, then it's going to back up. Stay tuned for the part two. I'm going to show you how to use the other stuff to get this game successfully working without a CD. Alright guys, here's part two of how to play backups. Brought to you by PSP Crucial Source. Alright, the game I'll be showing you all today is Call of Duty Black Ops. Now my game just finished that's why I told y'all part 2 is coming soon so after the game has been backed up you want to click X to exit alright now you can see that's the BDVD from the CD drive and that's the backup that's on the HDD so don't do anything to it what you want to do is exit out to the XMB Now, on the video, I attached the download link to a Black Ops folder you will have to download. That folder will consist of the file that you need to get this working. Alright, let's wait for it. XMB. Now we're going to scroll over to the computer. Alright, you want to plug in your USB drive. We're going to navigate. This will be the Black Ops folder that I will attach in the download. Now this is what you're going to have to do. Let me clear everything out my USB drive. This is my USB drive. As you can see, it's blank. In the Black Ops folder, you're going to go to it. And the PKG file, this long file right here, you want to click it and drag it onto your USB drive. Copy it on there. Alright. Plug it out. The PKG file you copied to the USB drive, you want to put it back into PS3. PSP should be jailbroken so you'll see install package files click there goes the file that was uploaded onto the flash drive you're gonna click on it install complete as you can see when I go to the bottom there goes my CD but there goes the Call of Duty Black Ops eboot but we're not done yet so don't get too happy what you want to do is go to FTP alright now that 
as you're at your FTP server, you want to open up an FTP program on your computer. I'm using Smart FTP. So, now that that's done, what you want to do is connect to the PS3. Look at the IP address right here. You want to copy that into the address bar. Alright. I got it in there. You leave the login blank, leave the password blank. Should be on port 21. Click. Connect. As you can see, I connected to my PS3. Now, listen very carefully. There's going to be a couple of stuff you must do. You're going to navigate down to dev underscore hdDO all right then you're gonna see a folder that says games click on that this right here is the backup of your call of duty black ops you're gonna click on that click on ps3 game click on usr.dir all right, now everything in this folder. Pay attention. You're gonna go back to the dev HDD. You see this game folder? Click on that one. All right. B L E S O one O three one is the directory of the PKG file I installed what you want to do is click on that it's kind of tricky because what you're gonna have to do is copy the folders from your game into that folder right there so we're gonna go back to games okay you want the USDIR folder only alright and now I go back up you can see game you can see the BLES you can see this USDIR as you can see it only has an eboot in there go here highlight everything as you can see I'm dragging it into the USDIR folder of the BLES folder. This is the eboot file. It says if you want to remove and replace, yes, replace that. As you can see, everything is done. All right. Now, one more step. What you want to do? I can go ahead and forget about that. We're going to focus on the game. Go back to the game folder. Go back to the BLES folder. Alright. Alright, sorry for the pause. My camera died. What you want to do is go to the root of the BLES folder and go back to your Black Ops folder. Sorry if I'm rushing. I have two minutes. Everything in this folder you want to replace in here. Just copy in here. If it acts to overwrite, just overwrite it. So. I'm going to do it piece by piece so y'all get a picture of what I'm talking about. See that? I'm just going to copy everything, replace everything in there. Okay? You can do it folder by folder, whatever fits your boat. As long as you're getting all the files in there, you have nothing to worry about. Alright, I'm in the DIR folder, as you can see, in the Black Ops folder, I had to go into the DIR because they had some files that I had to copy in there. So I'm going to go back out, these two folders right here, you're going to go back to the roots, as you can see they're not there, so you're just going to drag it on there. Just drag it on that root right there. Alright. 
everything is copying. All right, now that it's copied, I don't know how much time I have left, but what you want to do is disconnect, okay? Disconnect out of black box. I hope I didn't run under two minutes, but uh, let's see if this works. All right, I'm gonna pull my black box, black ops out the drive. As you can see, this is the CD right here. Gonna go up to the eboot, click. I'm running on time. All right, it's gonna ask you to update, update, whatever. It doesn't matter, click circle. There you go. Black Ops loading. HDD. There goes my CD right here. As you can see, nothing's in the drive. I hope this helped. Have